Good morning, everybody. It is a horrible Friday morning and raining and thundering and lightning, but that makes it most appropriate since I have no voice um, for singing this song that I wrote in 1994. Okay, it's in the Green Book. Right, if you open up to chapter 11, you'll see the song at the end of chapter 11, I believe. I wrote it in 1994 when I was the computer teacher at Noble and Grinnell School. And with the background of the thunder, right, I want to talk about the copying issue. Because yesterday when we did the round table discussion, right, I did the best I could was keeping duct tape over my mouth because I didn't want to say anything. Okay? And I, but I wrote this song back in 1994 because I think we need to think about the issues. I told students, 500 students and 100 faculty members, how I used to copy every single Bob Dylan album in the 1960s and I didn't pay for any of them. I turned the tapes over to the business manager and admitted that I had made a mistake. I told the community that I had copied software in the early 1980s. I had copied a Pac-Man game and brought it back to NAS because I thought it was cool and I didn't know better. But now I do know better and now you know better. Right? And once you know better, it's like taking the dirt out of a hole. You can't fit it back in. Right? So. Take that sheet music that you photostat it and throw it away. And take the tapes that, or the CDs or the songs that you distribute every Friday and throw them away. And when students ask you why are you changing, tell them that Bob Dylan once said, to live outside the law you must be honest. And that's why there's a difference between the copying software issue and copying music and copying sheet music and driving over 55 miles an hour. Okay, so here we go. I got the no copying software. Gotta be honest, the Nobles Blues. I wish I could sing. I got the no copying software. Gotta be honest, the Nobles Blues. All I've got is my own good word to lose. I got to try to bring nobles kicking and screaming into the 90s blues. I got to try to bring nobles kicking and screaming into the 90s blues. So don't let us down, you can be honest if you choose. Can you imagine Spence girls, can you imagine kids sitting around, right, in a lounge or somewhere talking about the fact that they frequently cheat on tests and papers and now it's beginning to become an issue and is it honest or is it the same as driving over 55 miles an hour you would be upset you'd be disappointed in your kids if they spoke at a round table discussion expense a little bit the way we spoke yesterday if you tell kids sorry we don't have the money to get the sheet music if we don't have the money to distribute these to buy enough CDs, we don't have the money to um, pay for the videotape, right, that is more than a year old because, um, here's the thing, John Paul Frey, he sometimes Skypes for us, um, he says there are four factors that go into fair use, and he says factors one, two, and three, and they're listed in chapter 11, are less important. Chapter four, Reason number four is the super important one. Reason number four, he says, is, is what you're doing affecting the monetary value? So you can buy videos from 10 or 20 years ago, or you could arrange with a television show and pay them money or seek permission to show that video. Obviously, sheet music. You heard Adam, Adam Kenner say yesterday that one of the things that was affecting the whole thing with iPads was the distribution because book publishers wanted to have nothing to do with technology if it was going to be easily duplicated. 
So frequently, when you duplicate, you duplicate instead of paying money to someone, and so you're affecting the commercial value, and you're affecting somebody's um, money income, whether it's sheet music, or VCR tapes, or paid for music. Okay, we gotta get this on here. In the Middle Ages, said Dr. B, plagiarism was the place to be, but the times there are changing to Bobby D, and we're moving into a new century. You got the no try copying software. Gotta be honest, the nobles blues. I should have taught at that other school where copying discs is considered cool. But fakes, he told me to take a risk, so I'm giving you my word, I'm not copying that disc. I got the no copying software. Gotta be honest, the nobles and Spence and everywhere else, blues. A sign just went up on the Wittenberg door, and I'm so glad that somebody picked up on the Wittenberg door, because it is a model of reform, and it's all about do the right thing. Would you like it if I told you that I was sneaking nuts out of that room because I didn't think I was hurting anybody? And, you know, of course not. you got to do the right thing. And doing the right thing is what we have to model for our kids. And you have to really do it. You can't just talk the talk. You have to walk the walk. The sign just went up on the Wittenberg door. It says, I'm tired of hearing about this copying thing no more. So let's move on to other words we don't like. I've got the derogatory blues. When I hear them faggot and dyke, I got the no copying software. Gotta be honest at no blues. Okay, it's a wrap. Next one is just